Hello guys, it's Jojin here today to bring you my first pay to play guide on melee combat training and this is just one method. So this method will be basically Darrow King in legacy mode against deadly red spiders. It's relatively safe. The requirements are you have 3.5 mil to afford the Darrow set. If you look in the G right now, it's about 3.5 mil over here. About 3.5 mil because it's rising because of invention. So this method is the best melee training for anyone around the 70 range. Uh, 80 range is still good. I still use it and I'm 90 because it's safe. Uh, not really difficult. The only problem is it's kind of boring. So what you need of course is your Darrow set over here. Um, bring your best amulet, best cape, charming imp because since the spider doesn't drop anything other than charms and spirit gems charming imp best ring uh, no ring of uh, wealth or anything because they don't drop anything so just bring your warrior ring or some melee ring best boots and gloves for melee so what we're what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the way to the chaos tunnels and I'm gonna show you the ways to the to the barrack sewers so first of all chaos tunnels um, Chaos Tunnels is by far the best place. Uh, the spiders are closely packed, so you're not really going to lose anything. Um, what you need to bring, um, you bring some of the, some high level foods for emergency, since since you're going to Wadi here, sometimes you might get attacked. I say it's un extremely unlikely, but then again, it's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible to get attacked. Uh, I suggest you find a low populated world as you can see there's people going in so I suggest switch a different world and what you want to do is you want to have a tele tab just in case so first of all since it's different let's hop to I'm more like 79 all right so let's hop to 79 what's what we're gonna do is we're gonna be going into a uh, rift in the wildy so what you need is rope if you have never went there have a rope down it's always useful um so you go down go up it's not very far make sure you have auto retaliate off because you will not be aiming to get attacked by any of those so over here, you can check when there's black unicorn. That's where you know you pick the right rift. Since you cannot enter when you get attacked, make sure you unequip everything. Go downstairs. You should arrive. You should see moss giants. On your far east, you should see spiders. So what you're going to do is you're going to enter. And... As you should know, Darrock set requires you to have low HP, low HP. So remember that because you require low HP, you're gonna have to get attacked. There are other ways to do it, but since this way is relatively easy, we'll just do this way. So although the portal sometimes is a five percent chance you might teleport it to a random place, so do be careful. I'm already in Legacy uh, to change yourself in legacy you want to pick f4 press f4 and then once you press f4 you can go to combat settings and then over here it will be legacy is unchecked or checked as you can see i'm right now getting aggroed by three different spiders and i'm whittling my health down uh, when you're around a hundred not even not 120 health around that then you click the portal you teleport back they might hit you once or twice um, and then, depending on how much health you are at, then you can attack. You can only use Darox when you're around 10% health. That produces the maximum accuracy. And when you are at 10% health, you'll be one-shotting the spider 99% of the time. I've done this method for many hours. I guarantee that 
when you have the 80 boosted stats, you will be getting around 400k experience per hour, excluding the experience from constitution. Overall, this is one of the best methods for meaty training, especially when you're in the 70 range, comparable to other methods, and relatively, it is relatively safe. So as you can see, my health is going down bit by bit. If you're wondering what's the max hit of the spiders, the max hit of spiders is 34. 34, you see, teleport here. A little close for comfort. That's why maybe 150 would be the best. 150, I suggest. If you have a slow computer, I would suggest possibly even a little, a little higher, maybe like 170. So you see, I'm teleported where my Darox set and you can start you can boost your stats with your potions and if you can see oh that's kind of bad my bad there we go yeah, there's there's the 98 percent chance of you hitting there of you hitting above 34 but then there's a one percent chance you hit a there and then there's the other one percent chance you hit like a 330 which is very low if you can see already I just got really unlucky at the start um, the experience I'm getting right now is higher because I have bone experience but I've already tested this method for hours upon hours right so as I said before in W experience you're getting about 800k experience per hour very fast as you can see this is very fast nothing really difficult uh, when you're looking at your HP you're trying to keep it around the 70 range if you have a little less health let's say your constitution is 700 then maybe keep it around 80 range it sh still should be the same thing you should still be one shotting spiders and getting around your 400k experience per hour maybe you'll be getting 350 if you're just on the dot of 70 because your accuracy for your attack uh, Darox is not as high that's why you should bring your boost if you use them if you don't it doesn't really matter and then as you can see one hit one hit one hit nothing really difficult I'm gonna show you right now after it X out about how to change a combat settings you press F4 remember if you have a laptop you press F1 and FN plus F4 this is the shift button unless you change it so make sure if you have a laptop remember that so what you want to do you see unavailable in legacy mode right over here legacy mode when you click this and it's not check mark you go back to yoc when you click this check mark that means you're in legacy you have to be in legacy to use this method all right so there's the other method which is I mean the other place which is Verox sewers it's worse than this but if you do not want to go to Wildy you can pick Verox sewers over there the experience there is a little less the only reason it's a little less is because of the time the spawns for the deadly red spiders are spaced out so you lose a little experience for that it's about 350k for me over there so 50k less but still, it is a pretty good place. But you want to make sure that there's nobody there. Because I think that place is more populated because it's more bots go there. I think that's why. But anyways, you open the Varrock sewers. Right, go here. Nothing really difficult. And if you're wondering how one would, uh, this door is not open. That's bad. Anyways, if you're wondering how one would actually go to um, aggro the spiders and barrack sewers, it will be the same thing. You might want to be a little more safe on this side because there's no teleport so it doesn't give a abrupt cutoff to your damage so what you want to do is I'm gonna show you where to go of course 
but what you want to do is aggro three spiders you might want to leave when you're at around 200 health for this one just to be on the safe side you don't want to die with your darox right because it degrades but anyways what you want to do is you see this area over here right this is where you want to aggro the spider so what you want to do is you want to go over here that's where most of the spiders are you want to go over here aggro three spiders and then just wait here when your health reaches a 200 keep walking back to the other place and wait like you know five five seconds for until you see the uh, deadly red spiders disappear since you moved all the way over here so if you aggro them here you go over here wait until you hit 200 and walk all the way over here this will cancel out the aggro so they won't aggro you again encrypt all your stuff if you if you didn't uh, don't equip your stuff sorry and then aggro one do the same method go around 100 and then do this okay pretty easy also as you can see it's a little I'm at like 94 health so that's not really good I should go to around 80 health or like 10% so now I'm alright if you're above 10% it's the accuracy is gonna be really low so I suggest you make sure it's above uh, below 10% or below and always have your food tomatoes or whatever food anything that heals 20 30 health you're fine don't pick any food like this that heals 160 these are only for emergency purposes if you click wrong or something right just in case Hope you enjoyed this guide. Hope this helped. See you in the next one, guys.